Let's go ahead and do our opener. How about that? Yeah. yeah. All right. So. Nah, let's not. Let's do it. Oh. So we want to talk a little oh, bit about what, Netflix. This is what we're talking about? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So uh, we're going to talk a little bit about Netflix. Something crazy's happened. So a couple of things. First that off. stupid look off your face. What? I already know this is going to be an argument. I predicted this. You didn't predict this. You didn't predict this. I said within a set period of time. Yeah, like two years. Netflix is going to go down, down, and then it eventually become Blockbuster and no longer exist. You, this is not an indication of that. Basically what happens, we'll let me see. give you guys the facts and we'll, we'll, we'll okay. talk about it, yeah. okay? We still got some time. We do, but let, let me give the facts. So Netflix has recently released that they have lost 200,000 subscribers out mm-hmm. of their 100 plus thousand, 100 plus million subscribers. Yeah. Um, so 200,000, it's a blip on the radar. From their catalog, it's the first in a decade that in a quarter they have lost subscribers. Right. Okay. That's why it's big news. Couple of reasons. Um, and they've also lost 700,000 viewers. Mm-hmm. I don't know if it's subscriptions, but viewers because of them, because of the Russia stuff. Right. Yeah. So they've, they've kind of stopped doing stuff in Russia for the time being, and they've lost a significant viewership from there. Mm-hmm. Um, and so so the couple things that, the big thing that they believe is the cause for this is because they're cracking down on account sharing, Yeah, which I don't want to dox us, but we participate in this everybody, activity. Everybody shares everybody. accounts. Yeah. That's with, what they literally with every, incentivize with it. Everything. Yeah. So we they're saying like if we notice like a shared account between multiple households, they're gonna crack down on it. They haven't done that to us. Mm. But apparently they're going to crack down it. Mm-hmm. And it's caused some uproar. I think that's caused people to cancel subscriptions. And then we also there's also word out there a little bit in certain word communities the about the uh yeah, on the streets about it's more the direction of their content mm. that's being a big problem for some people. So they're also they're also canceling projects. Well, they're canceling it due to the lack of subscribers. Oh, the subscriber loss. Yeah. yeah, and the anime department is the biggest hitting. Dude. I saw they're they're yeah. they're canceling a lot of animation mm-hmm. projects, which is a big bummer. But they did say Arcane's safe, which I know okay, is, is good. good. Well, Arcane, Arcane has safe. to be safe. Yeah, it's a big heavy hitting show. It's, I mean, it's it's Game of Thrones level. Yeah, for uh, the for 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 animation. Yeah, for well, we're talking about for money spent on animation. Um, Arcane is is Game of Thrones level. Yeah, they spent so tons of money. I would be willing to bet that more so than the crackdown on the shared accounts, mm-hmm. it is content. I kind of agree with this incentive, this this idea. What do you guys think? What as far as theory? Josh, Josh <laughs> thinks it's Josh thinks it, that this is a you know uh, indication that it's soon to be you know going demolished, down, going downhill. I don't think. I don't. Well, think hold so. on. Netflix did say. That they expect at the at the end of July to have lost two million subscribers. With a big company like Netflix, you know, we've seen with other big companies, there's always something like this that happens. It's all about how they approach this issue. Mm-hmm. If they approach it in a bad way, yeah, no, they're gonna go bankrupt and they're gonna fail. But if they come up with reasonable solutions and tactics to changing and becoming a better company it'll be fine Mm -hmm. but i i don't think that it's i don't think it's a huge issue yet i think this is a a little bit of a misnomer right Mm -hmm. now i've never thought that netflix is gonna die and i don't even necessarily think that netflix is going to seriously drop and like stop growing i think they're actually going to keep growing this is just a little little dip on their stock Mm -hmm. you know Mm -hmm. their stock trajectory however i have said for years ever since there was whispers of disney plus doing their thing that it is going to affect streaming services in a major way and i do Mm -hmm. have a feeling that all of the streaming services now we have HBO Max as a major contender mm-hmm. with all of their films and shows, and now and obviously Disney, which has their basically the Disney catalog. Well, with those two things, it it is a competitive market at this. If point. you think about it, so 
these companies that have been around for years upon years before mm-hmm. Netflix are starting their own streaming services like Paramount, mm-hmm. like Disney Plus, like um, HBO Max, HBO, uh, where well, they've had streaming for a while. But yeah, and so the this kind of standalone streaming service, there's a lot out there that are their standalone company, but most of them are free with ads and then a little bit upgraded like Peacock. Per, prescription service. Yes. Mm-hmm. Subscription. Uh, Netflix is not like that. Maybe if they add um, ads and make a free option, maybe. Well, Disney Plus but, doesn't have a free option. And they, they in fact, actually have, if you want to watch like a new movie on Disney yeah. Plus, you have to still pay like 30 bucks. Inside the app, um, yeah, that you pay for. Doing different stuff. I do remember. Netflix. I They're do remember predicting that years ago, saying that eventually the streaming services will start releasing new movies directly to the streaming service that you'll have to pay Extra thirty dollars for. for. Yeah, uh, but. No, you're right. With the other companies, they have pre-established work as well. Like Disney has, how many? hundreds of thousands of movies that they've made over the years that mm-hmm. they can just put on to the Disney Plus catalog. It was instantly Netflix, a mic drop. Netflix is, you know, they've, they've been big in the game for years, mm-hmm. but they've They're also- They're the first ones doing it. They've been slowly trying to create a catalog of their own, of yeah. Netflix shows and movies. Um, and they have some good stuff, uh, but I think they also have a lot of trash stuff. In a rush- Mm-hmm. that Netflix has been, they have a lot of trash. They have a lot of trash. A lot of trash. And I mean, like, nothing in the Netflix film world is a serious contender with anything that's great. Mm. You know what I mean? I don't know. that. I, I feel like I could point one out if I looked. Maybe they considered, like, uh, Uncut Gems mm-hmm. with Adam Sandler. Maybe that was a heavy-hitting one. Was you got The original? Irishman. The Irishman, yeah. The Irishman was big, but like it wasn't across-the-board love. Yeah. It was just a film that like a, a cult classic community mm-hmm. liked. You know? Right. But I wouldn't say the majority of Netflix films are anything that's heavy-hitting. Mm-hmm. The only... No, it's all shows. Shows are the shows, biggest thing yeah. on Netflix. Yeah, the, and 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 when they put time and production into their shows, we get really good shows. Yeah, I mean we've seen that, but you, we're not getting we're not getting a consistent kind of what we're used to uh, movie mm-hmm. I mean, from them. Every weekend, if I'm sitting down to turn something on, probably going to go to. HBO Max HBO first. To, right. Well, it's because you're a movie guy and movies. But they're also oh, they're better. Movies? There are better movies on HBO Max than there are Netflix. There's a lot of good movies There's on some Netflix. Good, good shows on HBO Max too. Maybe not originals. No, they've got some good originals. Well, they they, they have originals. loved loved shows, but the only like original things that they've they've got is like. Well, Game of Thrones, and then you have latestly our flag means death, mm-hmm. which is they've branded as like an HBO Max original yeah. you know there are certain hbo max originals yeah i think what i think what and they were euphoria. euphoria euphoria is huge and then you also have the sopranos that kind of stuff and, and um, they have I, good I, stuff like HBO max but is, hbo max has been doing this since like the 70s and yeah and they've been putting tons and tons of money into it and netflix has only just recently been able to start really putting uh studio level money into their stuff let's think about this netflix creating their own content They've only been doing this for around a decade. Mm-hmm. Like House of Cards was coming out, what, 2010? And that yeah. was the first Netflix original thing. Yeah. And it was. And then it, an Adam Sandler movie was, was the good. first Adam, it was the first Netflix film, right? What they need to do if they want to get over this or get, get through this valley um, is not try to crack down on people's sharing. They need to do something with ads, whether that be uh, you get a, a discounted Netflix account or a free Netflix account or something with I ads. I don't think that's the way to go. They're, they, they're they, growing. What I'm saying is they need to do something to gain more money, to get more revenue that isn't encroaching on how people already like to watch Netflix. Ads will do that. But, not if, but everybody already owns a Netflix account. Mm-hmm. Right. But for those who don't, 
if you if you get give a, them the option if you have the option for a free one then you know the ads can contribute to when the monetary comes, issue well when it comes to netflix money the amount of resources they have direct to consumer style without any kind of middleman or mm-hmm. ad or money or anything like that they've grown to be the biggest they're still bigger than disney plus yeah <clears throat> they are not content like disney plus is growing fast but they're still the biggest and so with their kind of money you don't like people will watch Netflix and pay the you know ten dollars a month, twelve dollars yeah. a month, whatever they need to do to have that Netflix. Oh. They they're not like limiting because they they have over like well over a hundred million subscribers. Well, they 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 need to do something about the monetary thing. Maybe and it's not and, and the the answer isn't raising the price on the subscription. Because people, there's there's a certain status quo. Mm-hmm. People know that I pay this much, I get Netflix, and I enjoy Netflix, and I can share Netflix with my friends mm-hmm. or my family. Mm-hmm. And people have these things that they know about this service that they like. And when you try to change those things, you're like, well, we're going to add ads or we're mm-hmm. going to uh, raise the price on you. Yeah, people are going to drop out. Mm-hmm. They're going to get out of there quick. You know, people but are people are willing. They have to do something because there is streaming services like Peacock, mm-hmm. like Tubi, that are allowing. But this. if you but be people, honest, if they, you look they, at it, it's those still are trash. newer companies than even Netflix. But, but people are willing to, um, people are willing to accept the movies or shows that aren't good, in anticipation for the really good ones that come out, the surprise bangers like Arcane or like Stranger yeah, which Things, which is exactly why we've. Which been is why we Netflix which for is years. Why we keep it, you know, yeah. and people are willing to keep the subscription for that, mm-hmm. you know. And so I think, as far as their content goes, I think they need to hone in on certain things and stop making the trash movies. They do need to stop spending money on trash. Yeah, yeah. What was it that came out that we watched on Netflix? That was a, a good one. Was that the? Did the Guilty come out on Netflix? Or was that HBO? No. The Guilty came out on HBO, didn't it? I don't... Guilty? What was that? Gyllenhaal. Jake Gyllenhaal. No, no, that was... That uh, was a Netflix film. Netflix. That was yeah. Netflix. And that was good. And I, I Very thoroughly simple. enjoyed it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. If they make stuff like that, mm-hmm. you know, I can, I can see them doing very well. But if they keep making stuff like... I don't know what did they put out that was really bad movie Full Metal Alchemist. Well, also well, see the thing is they're still using gas, so they need to switch <laughs> over to all electric, and that's what's going to save their company. Check this out: Netflix is an American company, mm. but they're international content. Mm-hmm. Netflix is spending tons of money on international content, other language content. Well, I don't know if we're going to be the ones to solve their issue. Well, the stuff but. that the stuff that comes out of like um, uh, some of the like European countries, mm-hmm. yeah, you know, or, or uh, um, like uh, some of the German shows that I've seen, mm-hmm. really, really good. Like Dark, uh, very good. I did, um, I never watched Dark because it looks super fascinating. I just you know I hate subtitles. Right. Uh, there's uh, Catla is kind of a is kind of a science fiction horror Isn't horror there movie. Streaming service like Brit Brit Britbox. I yeah. think that's a channel. It's not a service. Oh. Uh, and and there's stuff that comes out of Korea. Yeah. There's some bangers coming out of Korea. Well, Americans like Korean content. No, no, no. There's some really good stuff. I, well, out. I understand. Like, what's that n- latest Korea. film? Um, everything always all the time or something yeah, like that. Something yeah, like yeah. That. People, the the stuff Korea's Korea's movie making industry is growing by leaps and bounds in recent years, mm-hmm. and they're coming out with some really really top tier content. Um, South Korea, of course. South Korea, right? Yeah. And it's the Netflix the Korea. Netflix funding that kind of stuff is really good, and them funding animation stuff is really good. Uh, but if they're just gonna make like you know crappy movies that people are like, oh, this is a Netflix movie. Mm-hmm. You don't want people saying it's a Netflix movie, yeah, which, which yeah. Im- implies that it's bad. Or it, just middle of the ground, mm-hmm. like you won't be mid, happy or mid-tier. upset that you watched it. 
That every that movie you're talking about everywhere all the time or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Is, is that a Netflix film? No, no, it's not. I'm just saying he was bringing was up good stuff coming out of South Korea. Korea. I really want to watch that. It that looks like a crazy mm-hmm. multiverse film. Yeah, it looks very fascinating. But I gotta get over something because we're just gonna keep getting more subtitles, more cross cross culture entertainment, and yeah. I have a serious hold up on this. Yeah. I mean, if they if they speak English speaking, wait, and their their mouths Korean. are dubbed according to English, I don't speak Korean or German or Japanese, but I watch it. all of these movies. Start studying Korean. That, that's gonna be your don't have thing. you just have to. No, you gotta no no. Here, no 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 no. America learn first. How, learn how to <laughs> learn how to read English subtitles. <laughs> I can I, I can do that. Learn how to read I can English. do it. I can Learn do how to it. read English. I can do it. It's just I don't I'm I think visually. So if I'm missing all the pictures cuz I'm trying to focus on the words, it's like I might as well read a book at this point. Find a movie. <laughs> right. We should sit down and watch Parasite. Yeah, like well, let's we'll watch Parasite or something that's, you know, like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, or a martial arts movie and just let the movie happen and read the subtitles and get a feel for it. Maybe not. I watched Princess Mononoke, right? <sighs> now, I've watched a lot of stuff besides that. This is an example. It is such a wacky film, but so good. Mm-hmm. I still don't... I read every subtitle. I'm still so incredibly lost. I, I'm a big proponent of sub over dub. <laughs> Except when it comes to Princess Mononoke, the I was dub version so is lost. so good. All the, you got all the voice actors and everything are amazing, big name voice actors. Mark, I hear that. Mark Hamill's in there, speaking yeah. Japanese. Yeah, no, speaking. Oh, English. the dub, the, the dub. dub. Oh, gosh. the dub. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I. It was just so wacky, and these purists wouldn't let us watch the dub because it was with a group. Oh, you were with a group, and. It, they, it was these, just a horrible experience. Didn't understand this movie. <laughs> I think um, when it comes to Netflix, I don't. I think they're going to keep growing. This is a blip on their radar. Mm. However, it is something to pay attention to. And personally, I think it it's, has more to do with it, the content. It's a red flag. It's a red flag. It's yeah. a red flag. I think it could go in Josh's direction if they don't act on good strategies. Also, they need to find better. They've been so politically one sided for so long. They have to start realizing that 50 percent of not just the American population, but the human population does not agree with their version of politics, both it's, socially it, well, it, and, pol- and well, it's Hollywood politics. It is. And it's, it's dumb because that's it's literally just Hollywood that like across the board is expected to believe this way Mm -hmm. when there's so much more of the world, not just the country. Right. And they have to start saying, Hey, a huge portion of our viewers aren't happy with these constant underlying narratives. Mm -hmm. Why don't we just start leaving them out of some of our films and shows or do them better? Yeah. Or do them better. Yeah. I mean, it's like something that's completely not political will become political so fast with their right. character choice, their the qual like the aspects of the character. It's like this is a sci fi film and we have to know who this character sleeps with. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? We don't yeah. need that. Well like the big the big meme is uh you know, three seasons in a character is all of a sudden gay. Yeah. It's like <laughs> number one y- We don't need to just, know that. You're just you're doing that to try and Pander. You know, pander to a certain group when why didn't you just make the character gay in the first place and have it established? Yeah. You know, you Which see they do that now a lot more. You see, though. you see a lot of shows do that and it doesn't feel like this weird, you know, thing, mm-hmm. you know, it's 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 ridiculous that these narratives have to be a part of every single piece of content. Mm-hmm. So I would say a big part of that also it's just leave that stuff out. Like it doesn't have to be one side or if you want to just sit in the middle, sit in the middle and be happy. Yeah. But you don't like you're making money. That's all that you need to sustain. Well, apparently they're losing money is what they're doing. Well, they're, they've they been making money mm-hmm. and they keep pushing these narratives. If they continue down this road, it's going to keep dividing and you're going to probably keep losing more and more subscriberships. So, like if they don't make anything good and the next like say 
say the next season of Stranger Things and Ozark and all of these good shows that I'm enjoying are done with and they're they're doing weird stuff like everyone's not looking forward to Avatar The Last Airbender, right? Mm-hmm. Say that's crap and then everything for the next five years is just complete crap, I'm gonna cancel. Oh yeah. You know, I'm not gonna pay for something that's shoving a narrative in my face and is just dumb content. Right. I'm not gonna hold on to it. Mm-hmm. But I'm giving them time because I believe in what they're doing. But they got to adjust. You do? do I do. I believe in the streaming entrepreneurial quality of this company. Mm -hmm. You know, they've built themselves into a giant, but at their core, they haven't been doing it super long. At their core, they are still like the wild card. The people that they're contending with is Disney, who's been in existence yeah. for like 70 years or something. You this know? is a, this will be, I think, the, like a crucial moment. Hmm. You know, are they going to be able to overcome this or is it going to get worse from here? I don't know. I think it's we'll good. See. I think they'll be able to overcome it just fine. I mean, I'd like them to. There's a lot of stuff I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> currently waiting on. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm waiting on a Scissor 7 movie. What if, what if we watch arcane and it completely sucks like next season sucks <laughs> wouldn't that be such a bummer oh, be a downer It'd be a huge downer man oof i'm not invested in arcane <laughs> i don't care <laughs> um all around netflix we hope that you are okay hey this is a clip from the wise works podcast and if you enjoyed it go and check out the entire podcast we do podcasts every week both the midnight special and the main podcast. You can check us out on YouTube and Spotify. Be sure to subscribe and like, and we'll see you next time.